Generally speaking, I do not recommend luxury handbags to be work bags. However, if I had to recommend some, which ones would they be? Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. A work bag is so different depending on the industry and the type of work that you do. If you're in the creative and the fashion industry, your work bag can be anything. But in general, I would think that a work bag tends to be a little bit more on the serious side or a little bit more on the structured side, bigger side, easier access, maybe an outside compartment. Those are some of the requirements that I would personally want in a work bag. In fact, I would want my work bag to be on the lighter side because I probably would have a lot of things to carry around. So in this video, I'm gonna suggest five handbags from my favorite luxury houses. Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor and it is Carl Friedrich. They have kindly sent me their newest products which are these desk mats here and I deliberately did not undo this one to show you how they come packaged. It comes in three different colors. They are made of vegetable tan of a cheddar leather, which is very, very beautiful. The leather scent is absolutely stunning. The underside is backed with a layer of anti-slip rubber. I got the black one for my husband and the chocolate brown one for myself. I decided to get the small size for myself because I wanted to be able to bring it from my office desk to maybe my vanity. Speaking of work bags, Carl Friedrich actually offers a wide range of men style work bags from briefcases to backpacks to messenger bags. Even for ladies, they have a tote style style and also a briefcase style which I also own and I love them as work bags. I think they are very understated, of really good quality. So I actually have a whole series, a playlist of the best type of handbags in my collection. So I have one for shoulder bags, crossbody bags, evening bags, etc. And the reason why I do not have one for work bags is because the only luxury handbags that could maybe work as a work bags are my larger bags and they are the Neverfull and the Longchamp. I personally don't really consider these to be really good work bags, at least not for myself. For the Neverfull, for example, it is really wide open, so it's very easy access, but it's not very easy to, let's say, bring a laptop around. One of the things that really uh, bother me about the Longchamp is that it's not very easy access and there's no outside pockets and there's no compartments either. However, I understand the desire of sometimes bringing your luxury handbag or maybe dedicating a luxury handbag as your work bag. And if I had to do the same, I would actually choose the following, the Chanel Deauville tote in the caviar style. I know that there's no separate compartments. It's pretty much that one big hole, I believe a slip pocket and a zip pocket inside. But at the very least, the Deauville tote in the leather style is very structured. Unlike the Neverfull right here, where if you put a laptop inside, it's just gonna flop onto one side. If you have a very large and heavy laptop, I can see that happening to the Deauville as well. But at least there is a little bit more structure. At least it stands up on its own a little bit better. And I feel like because the leather is thicker and it's caviar, two different handles, maybe you have to bring your lunch around, some notebooks, a couple of mobile phones, those type of things I think would be perfect for the Deauville tote. Moving on to Louis Vuitton, the most obvious choice I think is actually from their briefcase men's line. In the men's line, there are so many different briefcases that you can choose from. And a lot of them actually do have some sort of zip pocket on the outside. It's good for things that you reach often, such as your cell phone, your pass, whatsoever that you need to. And on top of that, it looks really professional. I always would recommend a real briefcase if you really have to bring your gadgets around very often. Like if you have to bring your laptop only once in a while, the Deauville tote is completely acceptable. But if you have to bring it around on a daily basis, if you see clients, if you go on site a lot, and if you want a luxury handbag, I would always suggest some sort of briefcase. The best way to choose one is just to go try it in person because everyone's laptop's dimension is different. Maybe you like a certain style more than another because of the different compartments inside or how it feels or how it looks on you. So definitely go check them out. 
But personally speaking, if I had to really take my laptop everywhere on a daily basis, I would just go for a briefcase. The next pick from Louis Vuitton that I would choose is the On The Go Tote. I have a review on the MM size that I will link up here and down below if you wish to see how it looked on me and everything. Dimension wise, it looked really, really good on my body frame, but the size of the tote itself was a little bit deceiving because it did not actually fit my 13 inch MacBook Air. I'm gonna say it again, it really depends on the size of your laptop and accessories that you need to bring. Just because it says that it fits a 13 inch doesn't mean that it will fit your 13 inch laptop because if you have an older model, they tend to be bigger. And that is exactly what happened to me. The GM size is quite big as well, but in general, I feel like the shape and the design of the on the go, because of its structure, because of the fact that it has two handles, you can use an organizer inside and it's quite easy to reach in and out. There are some easy access compartments on the inside, such as the zip pocket and the slip pocket. So they are good candidate enough that I would consider them to be okay work bags. The next one that I wanna suggest is actually one that I talked about in my live stream recently. It's a bag that I'm very interested. I haven't seen it in person, but just from Instagram and just from the description online, it looks like a really, really attractive bag. A new release called the Fold Tote. It comes in two different sizes, the PM and the MM. I like both sizes based on photos. I think if I wanted to use it as more of an everyday bag, I would go for the smaller size. But even the smaller size actually looks like a very decent tote size. And I love the fact that you can cinch it in and also fold it out. It kind of reminds me of the Celine luggage tote. I love a good Toron handle. There is also an option for crossbody wear, although the placement of where the strap goes is less desirable. However, if you have to bring your laptop around, maybe that's not as good of a choice. I wouldn't. I also think that the Neo Noe is a very, very good candidate. I love how structured it is. I love that it has different compartments. I love that the strap can be worn a little bit higher as a shoulder option. So it looks a little bit more professional, still put together, but at least it's very easy access. Some of the leather models online also have a top handle option. So even though it is a bucket style handbag, which I normally would not really associate with work, I feel like there's enough features that I would consider it to be a decent work bag. Givenchy, YSL, Prada, Fendi, there are tons of really, really good designs out there that you might want to explore. It really just depends on how your work environment is, how casual it is, how professional it is, what kind of things that you need to bring to work on a daily basis. So there's so many options out there. Let me know down below which are some of your luxury handbags that you use for work. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Please do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.